Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, tonight, Joe Biden is going to address the country at a joint session in Congress. Tim Scott, this United States Republican senator from South Carolina, will give the Republican response, which I'm really looking forward to. But can you imagine what they're doing today to try to get Joe Biden? They're loading him up with Prevagen. They're loading him up with every possible thing that they can do to see if he can actually read this teleprompter without blowing it. This is funny. Just like his campaign, they're limiting the number of attendees. You ever notice that? Everywhere Joe Biden goes, they limit the number of attendees. Uh, Biden's press conference yesterday. As soon as the questions start flowing to him, what's he say? I got to stop or I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> really funny. What does he mean by that? We all know what he means by that. He's going to get in trouble because he's going to say something bonehead. Son, this is the most protected president we've ever had. No arrests at courthouses. You know, when somebody shows up at a courthouse or they're in, they're in jail, they're arrested on, let's say, a traffic charge. So it's a great opportunity, if they're an illegal alien, for the feds to come and pick them up. The Biden administration is saying no. Just think about the policy after policy after policy of the Biden administration, which is pro-criminal. It's pro-criminal. There's no other way to slice it or dice it. An illegal alien could get picked up on a traffic matter. He could actually be wanted for murder. And the Biden administration says, nope, no feds. We're not going to touch him. Also, the Department of Homeland Security is going to wait till 2023 to allow people to have full compliance with the identification program that they want. Couple years of freedom, no ID. Let's help the criminal illegal alien. Afghanistan exit. You know, once again, you know, the hypocrisy of the far left is amazing. They claim to be the party of the woman, women's rights and everything else. What's going to happen to all the ladies, and there's people expressing concern, in Afghanistan when they pull out? Can you imagine being a child or a woman in one of these countries when the United States leaves it? Can you imagine? Not good. And we wrecked the country. See, this is different than other situations. We're the re we wrecked Iraq. We wrecked Afghanistan. Good job, George Bush. Uh, cartel. I saw an article where it says there is a uh, collaboration of government, media, and technology. And I'm reading this, and I said, no, there's not. There's collaboration not only of those three, but the other seven members of the American Communist Ten. Let's keep talking about the American Communist 10. That list, that's the group they walk lockstep together. It's not just government, media, and tech. It's all of these folks. James Carville, the Raging Cajun, came out. Now, he talks to all the insiders of the Democratic Party, including, of course, Bill Clinton. And he's saying they all know this wokeness stuff is a disaster and has to stop. But nobody's afraid, to, everybody's afraid to say something because they'll get canceled. Such courage. Such courage. Why don't Bill Clinton step? You know Bill Clinton's got to be saying, oh my God. Do they say anything? Hell no. Joe Rogan, he's come out with the huge popularity of his show and said, if you are a healthy young adult, you should not get the vaccine. And all the liberals are going bonkers. Good for Joe Rogan. He is correct. If you're a healthy young person, the odds of you dying from COVID is like slim to none and slim left town. It's ridiculous. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber's under attack. And I wonder if it's because he's become Mr. Christian lately. Justin Bieber is under attack for culture appropriation because he got dreadlocks. Do you realize how you could extrapolate how silly cultural appropriation is? So if you're a white person and you listen to black rap music, are you culture appropriation? 
If blacks eat pancakes, are they culture appropriation? It's absurd. Who are these people? CEO has been fired because he made a comment about a prom dress, a guy wearing a prom dress. If you're, if you got chest hair, you shouldn't wear a dress. I stand with him. <laughs> Kamala and me. Remember how Kamala wanted to like end meat? Her and Oprah. Well, apparently under the new climate change laws, they're going to try to restrict our meat consumption. I'm glad that I have a killed steer cut up and packaged in my freezer. And I always will. I always keep a freezer full of beef. They're not taking my beef. Washington Post fact checking. Can't make this up. And last night, I actually watched the documentary about Jeff Bezos, how he built his, country, his company, the inside scoop. And I was thinking, you, you bought the Washington Post. The Washington Post isn't going to fact check Joe Biden. American Communist 10, not going to fact check Joe Biden. Condé Nast, in their big recipe book, they're not going to have any more beef recipes because they stand with Kamala. No more beef recipes by Condé Nast. More wokeness. Last but not least, I want to do a little diatribe on journalism. I've talked about this in the past numerous times, and I want to stress it again. Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, unlike a doctor, unlike a lawyer, unlike a CPA, unlike an engineer, you don't have to have a light, unlike a hairdresser. You realize that? A cosmetologist needs a license. No journalist needs a license. From a local podunk newspaper to the New York Times. You don't even need a journalism degree. You do not need a license. And there is no discipline process or authority over that. You have to go through special training to be a cop. They're wanting to set up a national data bank to go after bad cops. Look at the harm and damage done by the leading member of the Communist 10, the media. A completely unlicensed, unprofessional, dishonest profession. No self-regulation, no regulation. Maybe why we're setting up a national process to check out the cops. We need a national process of regulating, licensing, and discipline journalists. Wouldn't it be great to be able to yank a journalist's license for writing a dishonest fake story? Think about that. The fourth branch of our government. The press was always considered the fourth branch. Keeping the other three honest. It's completely disintegrated. Somebody with that much power has complete, absolute, they're not elected by the people either. They're not elected by the people. They're not licensed. They're not regulated. And they wreak havoc upon this country. Let's start licensing and disciplining journalists. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope you have a great Wednesday.